Hey guys, what's going on? What's going on, what everyone? Up? Up it is the is we're all on our phones. We're all trying to figure out what's Man, going on. Lots of stuff going on. I'm trying to figure out this. This uh, bird. probably glowing right now. I guess I should. <laughs> I guess I should pull the Safety chats first. up. Yes. Um, it's the light. Do we have anybody even waiting? Or are yeah, we, we alone? Got, we, got, really? we got Tom R. We've got uh, Telex. We've I've been got waiting for an hour and a half. Whoa. 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 Making sure it's working. All right. All right. Good. Keep watching okay. now. That's yeah. you and me and other probably. All right. Let's see what's Live going on. Live chat's up. Live chat is Santa up. Cruz is on. Talking. Whiskey in the Six is on. Dram dudes in. Hey guys, yeah. what's going on? There it's a good. good. It's a party. Good. Boys, it was a party. I'm gonna tell you right now. Lot. It has been a long, busy week. Yeah. And it's only Thursday. Thursday. Actually, Thursday. today's my Friday. Bingo, oh, brother. It is, buddy. It's nice, four nice. one all. Well, I've <laughs> also got to drive to Friday, Cincinnati no. tomorrow morning. Yeah, <laughs> like six. Saturday maybe, but I, that's not. Know. It's about it. That doesn't Taking count. the kids to Great Wolf Lodge. Oh, that's nice. That's very cool. All right. Where are you going to go? Hey, I see Rob's on too. <laughs> Holy just drop them off on the way, right? Yeah, we love people on. All right. For the love of God, I can't keep up with these comments. I'm late to the show. So, um, I'm to also be fair, here. he was early, but We're he's five taking him a minute. Yeah, I'm already into it. We have five so, dummies. So what's going on, guys? Yeah, I was just going to say, let's at least set the story, you know, the stage here. So tonight we've got um, a little special thing going on with some we got lots of special Jeopardy. stuff tonight. Um, we have uh, Bill from the Whiskey Dick, or the Whiskey Dick, and uh, he will be playing Scotch Jeopardy against Andrew. Whoa! Oh, dun, dun, dun. Andrew oh, didn't even dude, I'm not even I've been studying. Yeah. That's no, why we did. You're not supposed yeah. to study. Bill paid us extra to make sure that you. Uh, oh, <laughs> no idea. <laughs> yeah. um, no, and so. We got that going on, um, but before we get into that, we get we, let's just get caught up, man. Right. It's been a, a, a long time it. since we've. Um, so we did this this week. We did. Yeah. This is what we posted, and and so a lot of comments in this one. Yeah, I, haven't even had a case I don't know. What's everybody yet? saying out there about this? Because Dalmore haters and Dalmore lovers. Yeah, so yeah. that's Dal every really? Dalmore. Dalmore is overpriced. Dalmore, why are they bothering taking their good whiskey and pairing with the scotch? Because it takes away the flavor. Uh, you know, or it's a gimmick, you, calling it a cigar. Do you thing? really think this is better with a cigar than it is just meat? Uh, you know, actually, that spawned an interesting conversation too about cigars, right? Didn't yep. we have uh, one of our our, our subscribers Subscribers talk about cigars. And right, we have a yep. connection with that or something. And, and sent a yeah. list of scotch hey, cigars. Hey, Aaron Von What's going on, That's lady? Cool. I'll be doggone. She's never joined us for a show. Vonder, what's up? So yeah, let me introduce uh, this lovely lady to our subscribers. Erin actually actually happens to have quite a bit of whiskey in her Jeez, possession that she inherited. Oh, yeah, no and from time to time, when she comes over um, for various parties or visits, she always brings a bottle. And so we love um, her for that. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, yeah, except Mark keeps it at his. And we don't have to drink it. Drink it. I'm you afraid to open of them because they're older than the hills. We I know mean. what she says. Well, they're not going to get any younger. I, <laughs> yeah. I heard her say but last time we were there. She's like, you need to open it. And uh, she <laughs> okay. Oh, well, we just that called that out. Word. <laughs> <laughs> that's how that works. That's how, works. how that works. So that's the Mars plan. House Scotch House. <laughs> that, that's, <laughs> a, that's the plan for my next um, next concept video. We're gonna do uh, comparison whiskey of Mark's old bottles. Really? Oh, is that you? And we're gonna. We're this gonna is one we didn't taste. This yeah. is uh, something. We're gonna taste. Them. Mark's not invited, but we're gonna be there doing. Um, that. Before we get any further, though, Lee has pointed out. Yes, it is St. Andrew's Day in Scotland, and so to all of you and you guys, Happy St. Andrew's Day, yep. Slancha. All our friends overseas. I really wish Slancha. we were over the pond yeah, celebrating and doing this uh, yeah. in Scotland. He's trying but. to figure it out. We'll we'll get there. It's very well, interesting. Box is pretty good. Yeah, box Vondi is pretty good. wants yeah. to know if that's a Deadpool shirt. Damn right it is. Just <laughs> 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 damn yeah. right it is. <laughs> uh, mm. This box is so peaty, though. So now I like do want to plug don't in um, uh, Telex, too. Tom Mark. says he spies up a, 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 a compass box. Yeah, he does. Uh, I want to plug Telex, too. He's doing an after show tonight. He's oh, already yeah. Set up. I worked with him earlier, so he's ready to go. So... Uh, I'm not sure if we'll be able to join, but all you guys are welcome after our show tonight. He's doing after shows. And right. let's talk about that even more. So Telex is doing the, the after shows now. When we get done, he's done it once before, and he's yeah. planning on doing it again tonight. But he's also started doing That's his right. own live stuff, and I feel like Which a complete awesome. ass because I cool. missed it. Um, but He's keep it up, so, like, so I definitely want to ke check that out and see what's going on Subscribe with you. Subscribe to his channel. Yeah. The after, the after so party? All you, not just the after party. He's doing his own show. He's, He's doing, doing, two, doing, two shows doing some live shows. And so good stuff. I mean, 
um, make sure you guys go check out the channel. He's, Tell got, us a good, he's got a good wheelhouse, too. Throw the, throw the link to it in the chat, Telex, so everybody can just get to it real quick. Why aren't you um, doing it? Oh, all right. Oh, we did say wheelhouse. Wheelhouse. Um, someone's drinking some old Pultney. Mm -hmm. All right, right sir. What's going to So, anyway, back to this um, the cigar mall. I enjoyed the I think I was yeah. actually the, the most oh, excited about it. I, I wasn't normal. sure about it. I think I gave it you a know, three five or something. I'm not really sure, but it was. I, it was Sean's been wanting to do this bottle for yes. over a year, you know. So I guess keep buying I, other stuff. Yep. Yeah, I mean, like I like Dalmore. Dalmore's take, well, takes a pretty bad beating. I found it. I found something I wanted more. So Dalmore had it. <laughs> that was the problem. There's Admittedly, that. they may be a little overpriced, but they make a good, a good scotch that you can really not not Hold not. Down. I, I mean, you can't, right. you can't tear them right. down. They may price it a little high, but so does McAllen. And McAllen, I don't, I personally I'd don't like McAllen Dalmore, as much as I like Dalmore. Just their flavor profile is not my, not my cup of tea. So I would overpay for Dalmore before I'd overpay for McAllen. That's my personal opinion. Uh, and this one is surprisingly yeah. sweet for what, I, what I you would expect for a cigar more. pairing. We, we expected a more smoky, Which, heavier... some people were not going to have saying that they, that's a gimmick. You know, pairing it, calling it a cigar malt, a gimmicky type of move. And sure. I, it, I don't everything's know. Everything's a gimmick. Yeah. It's it's marketing. Marketing. Everything's marketing. Octomore's a I gimmick. Mean, I mean, putting Highland that. Park in a Viking ship is a gimmick. Yeah. What? But it's a cool-ass Viking cool ship. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, put anything in a Viking ship, it makes you want to buy mean, that, it, right? Or take my money. <laughs> do, I, do I think take that this money. scotch necessarily pairs so much better with cigars than any other scotch? No. But, you know, that's what they were going for, and... We based it off of how we like the scotch and not how we like its pairing with exactly. the cigars. We intentionally so. made that right. discussion that this is not a cigar malt cigar pairing with Scott, you know, cigar malt. It's just the scotch. Have you it. had a cigar with this? Well, and, and you, so we Drew know. mentioned one, one of the comments, somebody that got a comment, one of our subscribers, um, has been taking uh, copious notes on cigar pairings with scotch. Uh, and so... Uh, he's emailed us and reached out to us. And hopefully, we're going to put a collab video together, and maybe Which we'll, we you know, put something together about different pairings on different cigars and different scotches, and see. You know, he's got the research; he's done the, the work. Might as well share it with the world if he's willing. So, yep. I mean, um, we do do a lot of scotch and cigar pairings on uh, our annual fishing trips. We, we just don't get to see <laughs> it. Lee, yeah. Yeah. And, and usually, it's not too. Uh, maybe Lee will get to see it next Lee, year. Lee, you could have lied and said that the Springbank 18 was just nominal or average. You didn't have to say it was good. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking at the price of it tonight. It's not cheap. Um, well, you know, they make these little bottles, so if you want to send us some. Yeah. Hey, Hoagie, by the way, did you win on that uh, trivia No, game? he missed uh, it by uh, one. Or um, did you lose? You lost on yeah. Roy's? Aquavite had a live show earlier tonight, you guys. I don't know if you guys are aware, have been catching him. Five o'clock, I think. Um, it's five o'clock Eastern, because he's over, over in Scotland, and... Uh, he had a really good showing. I think he had at least 40 people yeah, online at one time. And he um, he did a little bit of a trivia thing, and Hoagie was so one of the contestants. Yeah. So I was just curious. That's I had to good. log off before the, the game I started. Those. I was curious if Hoagie won or lost. He, uh, yeah, he didn't win. He got close to it, though. He was Disappointing, well. Hoagie. I'm glad I didn't bet on you. I was, was logged out myself. I, I do have your glasses, Hoagie, so we're going to send them to you here shortly. So they're coming. He was the winner. So you're going to give those to me to send them? <laughs> yeah, right. I got the address. I got, I got to hook up right. there. Well, we got some other stuff to put in there. Yeah, you do. Anything, so. yeah. I need to yeah. wink, wink, send this. Rob on. Some salsa. No, right. I, need, Rob I got some Rob is on, hey, yeah. These are decorative glass bottles. Some milk so they're bugs. fragile. <laughs> <laughs> and some snacks inside there. Step into a Slim Jim. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Not right now, brother. Not right now. As in Miskin says, right? Hey, brother. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Rob, uh, I have something that I'll be sending you very soon. What? Um, oh, so wow. have you tried it? Have we had some of that? that? Wow, sending something so. to, to the yeah. six, huh? Yeah. Good deal, man. He's already kind of leapfrogging us and going up. To I the know. Place. He's already ditching us. And, and, we're and we're branching out, aren't we? we got our own thing going <laughs> on. Yeah, you Roger, guys have some stuff going on. what right? you got to do. He, he's going to start a new channel. What bookers is that? <laughs> what bookers is that? Mikey this? likes it. Mikey <laughs> likes it. That's his, that's his new YouTube channel. Subscribe. This is a 27.9 proof, 63.95% alcohol, Booker's. 127.9 proof. This is what you put in your car when you run out of gas. Yeah, pretty much. You can um, go blind if you're not careful. Yeah. Right. Or if you want to do your new stuff yet? Yeah, so um, 
I uh, spent a few minutes looking around on, online today about Scotch in the news. We haven't done that in our Scotch live show in a while, and there were a couple of interesting articles. I this one right yeah, here. I definitely want the, the yeah, McKellen yeah. is talking about. Um, the McKellen is releasing seven new scotches called what's it? The exceptional, exceptional. single cask range, right? Yeah. Another marketing ploy. Sounds like right? a gimmick. Special Sounds edition. like a gimmick, right? So anyway, when you scroll through these seven scotches and you look, look at number two. Read off number two. What's it called? Cask one one six five zero. Sixty five point two percent. Oh, there it is. Yeah, European sherry, sherry butt. butt. I don't know. I know it it's might still be a gimmick, but it sounds, bottles. It sounds pretty damn good. <laughs> I want to try. It's I don't dark. know sherry, but but. So when you yeah, look at how many much. bottles there are, that, that, that first number one, one there's cast. only like 91 bottles. It's literally bottles. one cast. Yeah, so yeah. I'm sure they're going to be really overpriced, and yeah. we're not going to be able to get any. They don't any, have a price but, list on there. Interesting. Um, yeah, I wonder why. If you get asked. I'm curious if anybody it. else took a look at, and saw that the, uh, the that McKellen is doing this new range, these new seven bottles, which most of them there's only maybe 90 to 150 oh, bottles of each that's number. Really cool. that, that's um, that's I, I, from what I heard, the Scotch for Dummies are going to get me that for the next. Is that what you heard? So the next news? article that I pulled up was this uh, Bowmore. Um, they want to they want to put a, a Bowmore 50 under your Christmas tree sure for for a smooth 30 grand. Bottle <laughs> or distilled in 19 or 1966. I actually looked at this looked at this article. Um, Cool they're box. releasing a certain number of bottles this year. Apparently, this is something they're going to release a few bottles every okay. year. Okay, okay. Um, the manufacturer suggests re retail price is that of a Honda Accord. <laughs> <laughs> Roughly $30,000. $30, Miles like per gallon. Like a high-end strip, strip down. Or you, can get a, you can get a Tesla 3 for that, actually. Um, so, yeah, it's $30,000 $30, per bottle. Um, so, that's like, what, $2,000 a glass? Yeah. The yeah. case looks like somebody yeah. got a chainsaw and just and cut, cut it out of the off, and they sand it into a square. I mean, right, it's it looks cool. like the heart of a tree, really. A For thirty thousand dollars, it better be a damn nice box. It better be heavy. It should be a real tree. Well, it comes in a, a special crystal decanter, supposedly. Yeah, I read really? some That's of that. Yeah, twelve hundred dollars an ounce. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So. It's so anyway, yeah. there, there was there was another out? article Remember? that that Get your ass out there. Well, who's who, who who posted this article? What what independent and indie oh, best? Oh, indie best, gotcha. Calls out the ten best single malt scotches, oh and I'm gosh. like, all right, let's see what they got to say. These said. are the ten best. Dun dun dun. What are they? So Log Number Log one, Lagavulin Log 16. I agree. That's I can good. get on board with that. That's one of the top really? tens. Really? But the the Brooklady Dark Black Arts. I don't know, man. Signet. I, the Signet's Glen pretty Orange stinking Signet. good. I heard Black number three is good. Signet, Glen Orange. I don't know if I'd put it uh, in. Number four is Glen Grant 18. Haven't had the Glen Grant 18, but the 16's real good. And so is 50. And Glen, so, yeah, yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so, so awesome. is the 50. And the Glen... Those are... Avalor. Avalor 18. Avalor 18 is number five. At $105 a bottle. Number six. Oh. Talisker really? 10. A 10-year-old? It's only fifty bucks. One. Yeah, oh, hey, I didn't write it. Yeah, I was they, just they curious. I don't mind it, but I'm about the ten. Uh, number seven, Glen Scotia. You know what? We've not done a Scotia, but look at that bottle and tell me it doesn't look good. It, it does good. look good. I mean, you just you want to pour a bottle. You want to pour a glass of that. I know you do. To be fair, uh, I want to pour a glass of everything. Yeah, right. <laughs> I'm trying to take my Scotch for title. <laughs> if there's juice in it, just Glen Gary Oak, twelve year old. I thought we drank a bottle of that. Fifty-three dollars a bottle. That's not. We we had a bottle expensive. of that on the bar. No, you sure? Yeah. I See, so. I just curious. That's hey, good. Scott. I assume that's you, Scott. Bone um, Darkest number yes, nine. Yes, that is right. Number ten. And Bone yeah. Legacy. So interesting. I, you know, I, a good half of those we've we agree with. Yeah, we yeah, you know are too. pretty good scotches. Mm -hmm. I'd say. I don't know if I'd put them on the top ten scotches of all time though. Well, I don't know. Well. I think they probably had to do some range here because they had a four hundred dollar bottle and a fifty dollar bottle. So right. So this this one last article that I pulled up for Scotch in the News that I thought was really interesting is this guy does this kind of like um, point counterpoint is Scotch is the Scotch whiskey industry too strictly regulated and so mm -hmm. they they kind of you know there's one point saying it is overly regulated and there's one point saying that they you know it's not that it's a good thing that it's so strictly regulated. So I'm just curious to know. Of all you guys out there watching, what, what's your thought? Do you, you know, do you think that that the SWA should lighten up a little bit or continue to, to constrain the industry? I, as I far think as that there's some rules that they could probably live without that are probably <coughs> holding the industry back yes, a little bit. Absolutely. But 
I think to regulate any industry and to keep it a valuable commodity, you have to impose specific yeah. rules on the group. Sure. To make regulate sure that everybody's one playing point fair. Thing, thing, you know, nope. it's not. Sorry. What are you doing? I was looking at something. 30, like, so, so, I mean. 35. Yeah. But I think that, you know, they, they've got some labeling rules and some things that are probably a little bit outdated that they could probably Move live on. without and it's not going to hurt anything one way or another. Yep. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, you know the the ba you you do have so, to create some. There is there is value in creating some level of exclusivity to Scotch that it's only from Scotland. It's only distilled there and stored there, and and, and it so, needs to be three year minimum and yeah. forty ABV. I get it. Yeah. There's some things I agree, but yeah. what the article was talking about when when you, you the the argument is that it's so heavily regulated that it stifles innovation. Right, yeah. so you can't get out there and really stretch your wings and 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 try stuff. But the the counterpoint to that is there's plenty of room to innovate in there. If you really want to innovate, why don't you really look at yeast strains and well, you, know, you can you can really here, get into some. Here things. would be my argument to all of that. So, have you ever read Judgment of Paris? Judgment of Paris, ah, uh, no. So mm -hmm. here's the deal. <laughs> in the seventies, the French wine market they were okay. They were king, okay. right? California hadn't really done anything, and so there was a wine shop in Paris that set up this pairing or this uh, contest yeah, between out. some high-end California wines because he saw the value in those wines, that they were getting better, that they had good techniques, and they were doing innovative stuff with their wine. And so there was a contest between French wines and American wines, and it was revolutionary because the Americans won. And ah. so that started California off on their really their big deal. That's yeah. very interesting. It's actually a really cool story. But the point is that California was doing innovative stuff, whereas France was doing very traditional things. Yeah. And it ended up now they're trying to catch up and, and try and do some more innovative stuff. American but but they're constrained market. because they've got a lot of rules and regulations from hundreds of years of winemaking there. Yeah. So you're you're fighting an old system that's that's set in its ways. We've always done it this way, and this is the way we have to do it. Versus, you know, it's the Wild West in California. They could do whatever they wanted. There weren't any rules. Yeah. Right. So everyone says disagree to have it, that it's heavily regulated. There are like five rules that they have to follow to call it Scotch. And Tom said that John Glasgow, uh, president of uh, Compass, uh, yeah, oh, giant four president of the SWA. Yeah, he's trying to tear him down. Um, interesting to to me. There are some things they can lighten up on a little bit about, like the transparency. Really, what does it matter if you tell me what you put in the bottle or not? I mean, why would you not want to do that? What, what's the point? Yeah, I don't see the um, of that. But I, I definitely think you need standards to keep to protect the Absolutely. industry to say that you know uh, people aren't just throwing crap out there and calling it scotch. But it's just one of those interesting comment, you know, articles to read and, and see where people fall along the line. It's not going to change anything. At least we're not changing anything. Yeah. Um, but when you look at Compass Box, you know, stuff of what they're doing, they're, they're pushing the envelope, like, yeah. really hard. I mean, I, I think that there's something to be said for having some tradition to something like that, you know. Um, but in the end of the day, you can't, you can't be so rigidly adherent to some of these things that you can't. True. Change it if exactly. And change Bill, it. Bill said, you know, Scotch is, is nothing uh, uh, if not tradition. I mean, and he's right. You know, I mean, it's so you're right. It's probably not going to change, but. Things do change really slow in that market, and, and so I don't know. Yeah, and so, I, it was so, worth a read to me. Yeah, so some of, some of the rules around transparency, I I think <laughs> that that those could go away. But but if you're, if, I, I do respect the. You cannot put a date on it older than the youngest in the bottle. Right, that makes sense to me because yeah, yeah you can have sure. people say, "Yo, this is eighteen year old scotch, and it's ninety percent three year, one year old, two year old, yeah, yeah whatever." Yeah. So I, I think that's good, but you can tell that, yeah, it's three-year scotch, but it's only 1% three-year, right. the rest is 20, 25-year-old. And then that, it's hard to put that on a label, though. And so what do you put on label three-year? Do you put three to 25? Yeah, what do you put? Put three and let the market dictate. Look at look up the price of that compass box. That compass box three-year-old, it might say three years old, but it's There's still going for 230 snobs. 240 a bottle. There's a lot of scotch snobs that will walk away from anything under the under 12 yeah. years or under 46 percent hoagie bear <clears throat> which actually brings a question in my mind that there's a couple guys at my work that only like single yeah i do not like blend so 
well, where I, do you go with that? It's hard. You just got to blend their minds a little bit. Scotch is like Johnny Walker, which is a grain. Yeah. Is there really difference in a blended? They might not have a good blend either. I mean, there's some crappy blends out there too. So. Yeah. I mean, there's some crappy single malts. Also. Some crappy single well, malts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> some people were commenting about, you know, how even on single malts, like, like the the um, variations, Lagavulin 16s had problems with variations sure. between right. years. You know, I mean, yeah. well, and, and anything happen. like that that's a, a handcrafted, you can't duplicate. You know what I mean? It, it's always going to change. Yeah. <laughs> Bill said he votes yes on less expensive whiskey. <laughs> Bill. I'm all for uh, that. All right, who's, if, if anybody argues that, kick them off the channel, right? Yeah, right. Yeah. Black hole. Yeah, right. I want, I want to be more exclusive. Bill, you still on the phone? Yeah. So let's let's get into that. What are we gonna do with Bill? So in a few seconds, a few minutes maybe, we're, Drew has a Jeopardy board spun up and ready to go. We've got Bill from Whiskey Dick uh, on the other channel. Hopefully, yeah. you guys can see him. Yeah, he's he online there. There he is. Um, there he is. There he is. What's up, Bill? Are you feeling smart? Hey, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> How many drams have you had? Have you loosened up a little bit? What are you doing, a monkey shoulder? Uh, I'm just uh, I'm polishing off a bottle that. So I did an uh, episode on whiskey. Sorry, monkey shoulder yesterday. <clears throat> so I'm just. You drank the whole bottle. bottle? You drank the whole yeah. bottle on your review. Oh, He's yeah. been drinking no, since really yesterday. yesterday. So yes. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. Wow. So, Drew, I, explain how this works to the folks so that they can get in on, on the fun and, and watch um, what's going to happen here. Well, I'm not really sure either. Ah, just kidding. <laughs> we're going to have a Jeopardy game, basically. And what we're going to do is we're going to have him Bill. He's going to – you guys know what Jeopardy is and how it's played. And we've kind of created this category, so, right? And we'll go through that in a second. Um, but we're going to have – we picked the dummy tonight, and Andrew – is the lucky dummy. So we're going to have Bill versus Andrew, right? And we're going to have questions. We're going to take turns, go back and forth. You get it right or you get it wrong, and that's it, All right. right? And then we'll do the final Jeopardy like normal, and we'll go through that one, and then the game will say, based on the score, who the winner is, right? Yeah. And then we'll give them a hearty cheers at the end of the, mm -hmm. end of the show. But basically, it's just a little fun yeah. Jeopardy quiz, talk about some stuff, some good questions. Mark taught me today, got some really good questions out there. Some, uh, I'm Drew, interested to see if you might know Drew some and I went and picked up a Bowmore 18 for the winner, so. Oh, awesome. Yeah, All right, right, before we get started. Nah, that's not true. <laughs> I, I want to see what uh, our viewers think the odds are who's going to win. Oh, yeah. well, Ooh, so, that's a good question. So you've got a dictionary against a dummy, so <laughs> I'm just. just I will note that I'm the witness. Why dictionary? <laughs> oh, so hopefully these are Scotch and not not oh, or American question. <laughs> That's great stuff. No, all right, so how do we? Okay, we we'll take turns. Right. Do you want, do you want so, to so before we get started, Bill, so talk about the whiskey dictionary, your channel. Yep. What's going on with that? I mean, you have been around for two, three years now. You you you're, you do a lot of whiskeys, and you do a lot of really good videos on like how tos and accessories, glass, all kinds of stuff. Yeah, really great stuff. stuff. So, stuff. Give, give yourself a little plug here and talk about what you're doing for the Whiskey Fabric. Sure. Well, you do a pretty good job of it. Uh, yeah, so I <laughs> have the Whiskey Dictionary. It's a YouTube channel, obviously. I um, review whiskeys, and I try to do a video every week That's on Fridays, 3 p.m., and occasionally I'll throw in a live stream as well. My videos tend Fridays. to be reviews, information, and just general whiskey knowledge. I um, try to mix things up with informational videos as well. So. It's been pretty fun. I've been doing it for almost three years. I was just going to ask you, what, what, how long have you been at it? So it's almost three years. So I think I think I started in May of, so like it, actually it's like two and a half years ago. So I think it was yeah. May of 15? two and a half years ago. May of 14? Whatever that is. Yeah. Wow. 2015. Cool. And you're an Eastern time okay. zone guy, right? Like yeah, so I'm from Massachusetts. Okay. So, Massachusetts. Uh, we are just far enough south to not really get any of the really special stuff coming down, but uh, <laughs> you know, far enough north to get some of it. <laughs> Is this an Ooh, we've got so, votes coming in on the odds. We've got one for Andrew and one for you, Bill. It's an even match. Dun, dun, dun. So, shout out to my dad there, that William Eburn. That's my dad. <laughs> All right, it's awesome. All right. Oh my gosh. No wonder he voted for you. Yeah. We share, we share, we share a name, so it's kind of funny to see him in the chat. <laughs> so, oh, so nice. while Telex is my kindred spirit on uh, Wheelhouse, he votes against me, which is okay. I'm, so, I'm, I'm willing to take it. It's a dick or a dummy. Dick <laughs> or a dummy. <laughs> so with his dad here, is there two dicks and a dummy? Uh, oh, oh, oh no! Come on, man! All right, so do this. 
All right. I'm All right. So we guys ready to start this game? I, yes. You know All what? Right, so I, I need your help. Who's going to go first? Eeny, meeny. I say we let our guest go I first. Think yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's the right thing to do. All right. Let me switch to the board game All here. Right. All right. We are on the board game. Uh, let me give a quick check, guys, and make sure we are good there. It should be good. Um, so basically, we've got terms by the numbers, and it's all in a name, right? And I, I will say that these questions, Mark, is done beautifully in most of these. I mean, <laughs> I hope the answers are right. You guys, you guys work together on this. This is tough. Man. That's why it, it was between you and I. For that's why I couldn't play. That's why I lost because I was last. Here. I can never. Get I, no, I, I had a long day, so you get to go. I'm gonna stand here and drink. <laughs> all right, so <laughs> warriors. <laughs> Uh, you guys get to, well, Sean, you get to help me read the questions. So. All right, later. So, all right, so Bill. Wait, who's the watermelon yeah. and who's the pear? We're going to say Bill is, well, actually, who, Bill, which one do you want to be? You want to be a watermelon? You're first, actually, so. I think you have to be watermelon because that's why I've got your, your, yeah, your watermelon. You're a watermelon, Bill. <laughs> a watermelon? Yeah. There's worse things. Yeah. It's a little game called. I'm more, I'm more pear-shaped anyway, so. Is this right? <laughs> all right, so what do you want to do? All right, let's go Terms 100. Terms 100. Deep Valley. That's the question. That's the question. That's the that's question. question. Or that's the term. Yeah. Bayburn? Sorry, uh, space, space side? Negative. Negative. Ah. The answer is. Hold on. Wait. He can it, steal it. Yeah, I don't have it. No, we can't steal this one. Where's it going? No. Oh, we can't steal? Okay. Okay. What is a glen? It's, the, it's the, oh, okay. half of the so names I'm... of Scott. All right, Andrew. All right. It's your turn. Uh, Let's go by the numbers for 100. A whiskey has to spend this much time in a barrel minimally. What is three years in one day? Correct, Amundo. All right. All right. right. I got the easier one. Bill, your turn. Uh, Let's stick with terms for 200. Going back to the terms. Daily double. Measured in phenols. Uh, What is ABV? No. no! It's gotta be PPM. What do you guys think? Parts per million. Parts per million. No. Peatiness? What is yeah. peatiness? Oh! What is peat? Yep. Nice job, yeah. Andrew. Yeah. All right. Ah. I don't know what All right, Andrew. 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 Let's go with terms for 300. That we're doing ah, really equally go. poorly in that. Oh. What is a dram? That's correct. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Eight of them. There you go. We're not on live, but put yes. that in the mic. There we go. Oh, we're? Yeah, we're on live too. Thank you. All right, we're going to go now. Oh, it's actually Andrew. I'm going to switch it up. I'm going to go to buy the numbers for 200. Buy the numbers for 200. Yeah, I got to get something. Scotland's oldest independent bottler. Johnny Walker? What is Johnny Walker? Cadenheads. Cadenheads. Oh, Independent Cadenheads. Yeah, that's Cadenheads, yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. man. All right, let's go know. all in a name for 100. All in a name for 100. Don't confuse him for an encyclopedia. <laughs> <laughs> Who is Whiskey Dick? Who is Whiskey Dick? Why couldn't you get that one, Bill? <laughs> right? Maybe you'll get one about Andrew. <laughs> no, I got it. <laughs> it's all in a name 200. i got to get something here. This dummy likes to play games. Who is Bart? Ah! Yay! Oh, Bart, thank you so much. Miss you. That was a good one. Yeah, yeah. Right. I'm going to yeah, go yeah. by the numbers for 300. By the numbers for 300. Minimal alcohol content to be considered scotch. What is 40%? ABD. What is 55%? <laughs> <laughs> what is 60%? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Bill. All right. <laughs> I feel like I'm, I'm picking the wrong categories here. It's luck. All right, let's go terms for 400. Terms for 400. That's why I think that you should Scotland's be National it. Day, uh, celebrated today, November 30th. Oh, shoot. I've seen it like, ah, shoot. We just, we we just, just talked said about it. What is, I know, and I, I know it's one of two things. I'm just going to guess one of the other, one of the two, and I'm going to guess it wrong. What is, look at me, Alexander Day? Oh. <laughs> St. Andrews. St. Andrews. Andrews Day. Damn it. I'm gonna go with all a name for no. I'm gonna let's finish out terms. Five hundred terms for five hundred. 
He should be able to Whiskey steal it. Whiskey barrel plug. What is a bung? <laughs> what the <laughs> hell? This guy knows everything. Who the hell knows? Damn, who knows? To have a bung, you have to have a bung hole. The bung hole. Every single one I haven't picked. <laughs> <laughs> Every, everyone says you need to take a drink. We need a time out for a drink. I have not seen any of these. Go big. Wheelhouse. Go all in a name for 300. Wheelhouse. Wheelhouse. Wheelhouse drink. Gotta take a drink, Bill. All in a name for 300. Oh, you gotta grab those 500s, man. Yeah, go all in, man. All in, yeah, all in. Want, yeah, I'll go on, on all in the name for five hundred. All in five hundred. All right, all right. Yeah. If you can't say it correctly, this water of life star will correct you. Oh, aqua vitae. <laughs> I'll, I will give it to you, even though it wasn't a form of a question. Oh, <laughs> I was gonna say Roy, so I thought I got that right. All right. All right. Dude. All right. Let's go buy the numbers for five hundred. Man, he's going all in. Let's huh? go, man. Don't do it. Three small to medium-sized primates brand this bottle. Um, I'm going to say, because I think somebody's drinking it tonight, let's go Monkey Shoulder. Oh, yeah, that was easy. One. What is Monkey Shoulder? Somebody keeps picking the wrong but one. I know, Bill, you're, you're like striking. He's got it. He got the last one. I'm drinking it. <laughs> I feel like you should get some points just for that. Oh, shit. Pick a four. Pick a four. Come on, My number is 400. Which, Which one? Buy the, uh, buy the numbers for 400. Buy the numbers for. The year on this Balvenie bottle, Caribbean cask. Oh, I'm glad I didn't get that one. That's 17? No, no what is 13? No! I said 14. 14. It's 14. Is it 14? It's, it's 14. 14. Oh, it's gotta be. Damn it. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> I should have put some bourbons and, up there for the poor admit, guy. Admittedly, he got a lot of harder questions than I he did. He did. You got all the hard ones, dude. All I'm right. going to go for 300. Yeah. Oh, Three. It's all in a name. Whiskey dick, monkey shoulder, really. Appropriately named to represent all the boroughs in Toronto. What is whiskey in the sense? <laughs> no. Shout, Ooh, out. Shout out to Rob. Yes. All right. All right. I guess you're going to get this one. This dummy's no captain. That's for you, Bill. He can't see. Oh, he can't see his shirt. Oh, he sees his screen. <laughs> no, I, I can't see you guys. Hmm. I'm going to go... I'll just go Mark. Oh! Who is Mark? Andrew's catchphrase is, that's Ooh. my wheelhouse. <laughs> Who is Andrew from Sketch for Dummies? All right, okay. so... I can't see you guys. You... <laughs> You can't uh, really play the final uh, wager. But, uh, <laughs> like, yeah, you can. We'll it's play, worth, we'll play it's for worth fun. 2100 we'll play for fun. All right. So all I'm right. going to so go, go all in on it. Andrew's going to go all in. Okay, so you're going to do... One dollar. One dollar. I'll do a thousand. All right, cool. <laughs> we're going to float you a thousand. Negative thousand dollars. Right. Thousand and one. Right. I'm going to end up at zero. <laughs> all right, here. Actually, we, you know what? We can you do a thousand and one? I don't. I didn't put one in. I forgot. That's what it is. It's probably last week's. <laughs> so I can win it. No, I, I missed uh, last week. I don't think it will let me go. I don't think it'll let him. You have negative, so Andrew automatically wins. Oh, well. All right. Uh, there we go. Uh, well, no, put zero and hit it and see what happens. All right. Oh, there we go. There you go. All right. Which of Isla's currently operational distilleries was the first to be built yeah. on the island? I forgot to do that one. Yeah. I know this one. I know. Right, go ahead, Bill. <laughs> I'm writing it down on the thing. He's, he's typing it in the but chat. I, so hold on a second. Or do you want me to just answer? You can just answer it. Ready? Go ahead and answer it. I say Beaumont. Well, it's Beaumont, right? Yeah. You All right, Beaumont. Uh, <laughs> winner, winner, win win chicken dinner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Andrew still wins, but good job on the final answer. All Thanks right, for yeah. playing Jeopardy with yeah. us. That was That's fun. Awesome. That is great, man. You guys are great with those questions. <laughs> Bill <laughs> said he's calling it a rigged game. Up with zero. It's rigged oh, game. Shrink that monkey shoulder. Kill him. Yeah. 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 He's killing it. That a boy. You know what's funny? Oh, I, I was, was actually a little nervous about going up against long. Bill on trivia, so I was like, you know what? I'm going to let Andrew do it. I'm going to sit back. I knew every one of those. I want to say a big cheers to Bill. Good yes. sport. Yes. I, he, knew, he told us last night, a couple nights ago, I'm not a good Scotch guy, so... We, okay. we didn't do a very good job of putting some bourbons in there, but That's thanks true. for playing with us, Bill. Cheers, if, buddy. If we had gone bourbons, I'd have been out. No problem. You know what I'm going to do? 
I'm going to come up with my own game. It's all going to be bourbon, and I'm inviting all four of you. Oh! <laughs> um, invite these two. How about five I, I was going to say, I, I actually do drink some bourbon. <laughs> I don't, so I'm going to get killed. <laughs> I, I actually helpful. drink which, pretty uh, much everything. Which that, that you guys have? Is that... Which what? What would you say? Which bookers is that that you guys are drinking? Oh, it's... I have no idea. It'll say the date is 2017 dash. That is cool. Oh. Is there a date on it? It's the, uh, like the crooked label. There is no year on it. What's it say? Let me see. It says batch C03 A 29. Seven years. No, so it'll be, it'll say like 2017 03 or 2016 06. No. Unless that, like in, unless that was ripped off. It wouldn't have been ripped off. In the corner? In the very corner? No, it's like a crooked label. It's, so I, I saw it on I saw it on the screen earlier. So like if you're looking at the front of it, it was the, the one that was slanted, the label that was slanted. There you go. Look at Are the screen. Are you looking at it? Is it blurry? I can't see you guys. Right oh, now, let me so. see. Oh. It says seven year old, zero month, batch number. No, it there's no How long have you had this bottle? There's no wow. date on there. Yeah. <laughs> there's no date on there, Bill. I'm, uh, I'm bringing up the stream on my phone so maybe I can see it. All right. So, so my monkeys were killed on Bill's bottle, right, during this video. <laughs> can you see that? Is it too close? All right, let me check it out. No, yeah, there's a number on there. date on there. It's not a 17. Mm -mm. Yeah, it's not that important. I was just curious. I've been no, trying to get a... my hands on a 2017-02 uh, and a 2017-03 because I, I started this series called Booker's Batches where I was going to have every single one of them. Let me, and let me look at my two bottles. The price from 60 to 80. Oh, uh, yeah, it's that thing right... Oh, wow, you have had that for a while. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's an old bottle. Yeah, it really doesn't have anything on there. Nope. Huh. <laughs> Although, Weird. to be fair, at the beginning of 2016. I, I get a lot of stuff <laughs> that's like... Uh, it's not for really retail really. sale. <laughs> but no. it, it may be that the distributor couldn't get rid of it, so you got it. Yeah, I've got to get a hookup from a distributor. I'm buying all these bottles myself. Yeah. All you got to do it's is expensive. start running that's a restaurant. It. It's a piece of cake. Yeah. <laughs> if you want to make a small fortune... Actually, I know somebody who does. Maybe I could. There you go. If, if you want to make a small fortune, start with a large fortune and open a restaurant. What yes. are, oh, there what, you go. What are the two bottles you're looking for? Did you hear me? No. Bill? I uh, know. Wh which two bottles are you looking for? The Bookers. The 2017 02 and 2017 03. Okay. I'll look at home, see which two bottles I have. Specifically 2017 02. If you could find that one, that would be incredible. I can I can find the 2017 03. Okay. 02. But. I'll mark it. Let me I'll see what I have it. sitting at work. I got a bunch of stuff sitting at work. <laughs> Yeah, so, cool. That'd be great. I I've, been, I've been trying to get my hands on the Spaber and 15, too, just since I did all of those reviews somewhat recently. And uh, Spaber actually reached out to me trying to, like, help me find a place in my area that sells any. And there's there's none, like, from Massachusetts, New Hampshire, Maine, Connecticut. Wow. There's none in this area. And what, So they're going to send you a bottle? <laughs> I, I told them that. I was like, look, I'm, I'm just trying to do a review, and I'm probably going to give it a good one because I liked your 10. Uh, and they were like, we are not currently reaching out for you know, whatever. I don't care. <laughs> Maybe I'll give them a bad one. <laughs> Maybe they saw my Braden Orac review. It was not a good one. Uh, so that, that's weird, though. They're, they're trying to get you a bottle, but they're not willing to give you a sample. I mean, really? Right, exactly, yeah. They won't let me buy their product to do a review on it. Oh, well. Jeez. Well, yeah. you remember that when they're reaching out to you in five years, and you're like, well, I can do it, but you're going to have to send me a bottle and $5,000. <laughs> exactly. And some money, yeah. Because <laughs> that's the going rate for me to review your scotch. And no guarantees on the review. <laughs> what are you guys drinking right now? I'm, as I said, I can't really see it too well. Well, on, on that note, the Compass Box Lost Blend bottle that we picked up from a Compass oh, Box nice. tasting, I don't know, a couple months ago, there was a Compass yeah, Box guy behind a table, and... We tried a couple of them, and I happened to like this one, so I bought it and brought it home. And it's a good bottle. Yeah, it's 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 going down quite nicely. Do we have time for a palate cleanser tonight. What's that? I got something. Something rather unique that I yeah. think this group needs to taste. Uh oh. 
Can you see us, Bill? So can we, is this too heavy? I can't see it. too heavy for us. Turn the Swami said you're the only Spain right. burn fan he knows. So we need a, <laughs> I don't know how that water I, I wouldn't say I'm like a super fan. I'm just more of a, I think it's a good intro uh, for people who haven't, haven't tried a space side before. Um, and it was because I, I the, the part of my brain that makes me an engineer makes me have to have all of the things from a specific distillery. Okay. Andrew's got a bottle. For I got us. a bottle. What are you going to get, Andrew? Going to get some water. Get the fresh water. Oh, got to cleanse the palate. We got to do it. Well, we got uh, some chocolate. Uh, so I have no wow. idea what's going on here. Andrew's got something uh, in store for us. with nachos. Pork nachos? Damn, I love the way you Barbecue think. pork nachos cleanse the palate really well. I mean, I don't have any pork right now, but... Well, why would you say that, then, you Just son of a... <laughs> hey, so, since we're off hey. topic, um, I, I cut down on I, I, I did. It's a family, I family it. entertainment. I, I shut short. You can't curse anymore. I didn't. Family entertainment. Actually, to be fair, I, I was probably the one tonight. Right. Did we curse? So, I, I think uh, Sean did. Yeah, yeah did. we already got demonetized. All right. That's okay. Um, okay, so let's go off on topic here. for a second. I, how many people have watched the uh, trailer for Avengers at least five times? I, I know I have. I've done yeah. it once. Have <laughs> you guys gone out and seen that, that trailer yet? Bad ass. I haven't seen Justice League yet. Yeah. I want to. No. It's going to be epic. All right, everybody, move your glass away from you. Mm. Cleanse your palate. Okay. All right, can we'll I have some of that chocolate here. to do it? Going on. Sorry, Bill, you can't partake in this one. Yeah, but unfortunately, Bill, virtually you have to. But, but you will, you will have I was all of your, your instructions. <laughs> <laughs> Are you cleansing your mouth? You need to get oh some else. You're on a monkey shoulder. All right. So, last By the way. week, my wife and I had a day off, so we went up to our favorite liquor store buying table. Oh, they just see a unique little bottle on the, on, the, on the counter there. I was looking at scotch, and um, Dennis comes up to me and says, You need to try this. I had no idea what it was. He said, just stay there, I'll bring it to you. Let me see the video. So I taste this, and I'm like, okay. I'm going to see what we can see. This is, this is a really interesting bottle. Well, what he brought out okay. was a bottle of okay, I can wine from Australia using Pedro Zimenez grapes. Okay. So you know, PX cask uh, scotch all over the world, all made with sherry that starts as Pedro <clears throat> Zimenez wine. And it's the flavor of Pedro's and Mint is that adds all that rich flavor and sweetness. Pedro just it. puts it all in there. And it's, it's the grape. It's Pedro so the throws Pedro, it in. The Pedro's and Mint is grape is what adds that flavor. And then it's, then it's fortified He stuffs it all in there. So so what I got is a little bottle of this Pedro's and Mint is wine. It's a sweet wine. It's a dessert wine. True. Yeah. But you will recognize all the flavors from all those sherry casks, Pedro's and Mint is sherry casks. In this wine. Okay, now you, I'm intrigued. Yeah, so I'm let's intrigued. go through this and everybody taste. It's sweet. It's it's not. That's why we had to cleanse palate because it's it's going to be different different than Scott. The the unique flavors associated with the Peters and Minas grape in a super sweet wine. Really an interesting uh, combination. Everyone's so excited. Is Dennis Pedro. Uh, occasionally. He, he occasionally does. Occasionally. Mm. Did, did you pour it in there? There was water in there. <clears throat> oh, so this is watered Who down today, Usually we pour good scotch in on top. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so the, while sweet, when you take this, the flavor of this, you all of a sudden, it's like it, this tasted when I first... Man, this it smells smell like tea and tobacco and yeah. sweetness. Oh, my God. Wow. It, doesn't taste, it doesn't smell like wine at all to me. It does smell like tea, like... Mm -hmm. And tobacco leaves... Yeah, so when I smelled some like raisins, citrus, this, this almost smells like a port. Raisins, it's, it's a different raisins, big time raisins, man. You ever had a smell of raisin in a Peters and Minas whiskey or scotch? I have cinnamon, and it tastes like plums and dried apricots. Yeah, I get all that, Sean. Now I get the tea. This God, is a, it almost this tastes is a syrupy. syrupy to me. Black tea. It is syrupy. It's a very yeah. sweet wine. All, everything yeah, you guys have said, all that's in here. But, but now um, you see why they take this grape, they put it in those casks. And then they put scotch in it because there's so this much. This is just depth. great. This is just Pedro's Mina's wine. It's only wow. That we're is... doing our part to empty out the cask so they can put more scotch in it. There you exactly. go. Exactly. That's where we're at right now. That's really interesting. So, so, so those pa casks, these, this wine, these grapes have been sitting into for how many years? Yeah. Whatever. They take that cask and then they put, they finish off whatever scotch we're talking about in those exactly. casks. 
So and then this so, is what we're getting. So so this this grape, this Peter's tomatoes is a, is a variety of grape that is grown in Australia and um, Spain yeah. mostly. Dandelion um, vineyards. That's those. Are, so this is an Australian version of this um, Peter's tomatoes. Brown sugar wine. Oh, yeah. Wow! But, but the, the breadth of flavor was Something in this little sugar. glass. That's amazing. Really interesting. That is so good. <clears throat> And this is why Dennis had said I had to taste this, and this is why I had to bring it. It's up. like drinking syrupy brown sugar with molasses raisins. And raisins. That's, so it's hard to even describe, really, because so it's got so much stuff going on. When you open a bag of brown sugar, it does bam. smell like brown sugar. Yeah. Man, it's amazing. But there's so much more the fruit and the plums and the raisins. I'm raisins not a wine person at all. So you can see how just a I'm less bit of, of a this, wine person I than I am a scotch person. Yep. When when you guys do this, you got to send me a uh, sample. We right. got some. We can do that. We'll, we'll you know what? Yeah. We'll you need to. You need to. You you Look definitely need to. Wow. Um, yeah, send, me your, send me your address, Bill. We'll hook you up with some stuff. Yeah. The yeah. wine is fortified with brandy. <laughs> That's what uh, Rob is saying. So is that... yeah. So so you're right. A a sherry is a fortified wine. This is not a fortified version of it. So so you're right that that sherry tends to have more brandy, more more uh, alcohol content. This is just the wine, but this is a. A more true representation of that of what is in that grape. Oh right, that right, then right. flavors that um, flavors the sherry. Yeah, which which is I, I like the, the doing it this way because you're getting just the raw. This is where that flavor is coming from, yeah. right here. This yes, is the point because exactly. the brandy is not really going to work. Right, and you can t totally taste that aftertaste of this and some of the scotches yeah. for sure. Oh yeah, yeah. you know what's funny though? Not all of the flavor profile. No, you know what I mean? Like no, there's, just a hint of, there's certain aspects that I think are probably covered up by the scotch itself. Sure. And then other stuff that's but well, you're also the you're also going to get totally you're going to get oak you're going to get oh, yeah. you know you're going to get oaky t from from the barrel you're going to yeah. get other things too but it's that's really this good. is. I wonder if we pour some of this into a little bit of scotch. Uh, or like a PX cask. A bit of this into like something. a um, what do we have the uh, Lafroy PX cask? Maybe. If you take about an ounce of that and put that in your live bottle. <laughs> Ooh, now you're talking. Oh man, that might not, that might be too much. Because you know, have we even sampled that yet? I don't know how it's doing. It it's, smells it's good. It's getting up there, isn't it? Yeah. We, we just added that uh, Kirkland to it, and it's. it's we need to good. open that in like in five years. Yeah. No, we won't. Tom it. says. Tom says but, not to send the, the wine to you. It won't travel well, Bill. You need to go out and buy a half. Don't worry, I was just giving you guys some crap. So here's a question: Are you guys asking your uh, your wives for anything special for Christmas? That was going to be. I was going to ask that question here before we f signed off. That's um. I, who's going to go first on that? I got an answer already. Oh. I, I'm not necessarily going to ask my wife for it, but I did spend about an hour online shopping for various bottles for myself that I think I'm just going to buy and say from Merry where? Christmas. That's how it works for me, too. Um, from various online retailers. Uh, well, we are going to. I mean, we, it's time for us. Well, I've, I've got a bottle for the dummies for Christmas already. So Because oh. while I was up there getting no, this, I, I feel like a slacker. Uh -oh. I, uh, I ended up with a bottle that Mike and I are going to oh my do God. a little review on. Of, Jealous. Uh, that? Yeah. Of, 12 year old Van Winkle. Oh. So, uh. And you guys get some pretty cool stuff coming yeah. up. Yeah. So we're, we're going to be doing some cool things. But, uh, yeah, that, that was one that I got. As far as scotch, though, I, you know what? I don't know. I haven't, uh, I did give one of my distributors a hard time today because he came in with, uh, I'll, I'll tell you guys the story after we get off the line. Thing. <laughs> uh, yeah, you know what? <laughs> story you know, you know what? Hey, I watched your show last night. Screw you. <laughs> You're not getting anything for that. No, it, it really wasn't that bad, but uh, he was the uh, Glendronic and Ben Reick mm. rep. And, uh, yeah. He came. He walked into the wrong store, shall we say. Gotcha. So... <laughs> so, so you guys have to finish your wine. Well, it's flip that question over on Bill. Uh, I want to know what, what do you uh, what do you want for Christmas in there, Bill? Pick a bottle. Yeah, any bottle. Your, well, I'm I'm kind of kind of uh, push things up a, a bit as well. So rather than a special bottle of whiskey, I actually got myself a brand new computer. Oh, oh. So he's gonna be all high tech now. Streaming hard. He's hard taking my video is frozen. It, it might be you guys. It might be me. Taking it's YouTube sure. to the us. next level, huh? All right. Well, we so are. The machine uh, I got it. We are getting a bottle nice. for the group, at least one. Well, thanks to uh, we we do have a Christmas present coming. We need to order it um, or make a trip, um, which we've shopped Tom for. Tom R, which by the way, I hope you feel better, for, buddy. Um, yeah. He basically has single-handedly 
Funded, right? Funded, funded. a bottle of uh, oh, Pulteney 21. Right. We're going to be so, buying that. So that's going to be on the, on the yeah. bar pretty soon. And nice. we're going to be doing a nice review on that one. And that's yeah. what got me started on, on my list is I was looking at various online retailers for finding that bottle. Yeah. And, um, you know, where can we get it the cheapest when we have to pay for shipping? Because it's not available on any that retailers here. So, um, uh, online. online uh, distributors. Which one's the best to go to? Yeah, so I uh, did a little research on that, and we I think we've, we've got it solidified already. I do have a question I want to post to everybody out there, especially those of you that have had Old Pulteney uh, 21. Um, searching for it online, I found a couple different retailers that have it, right? Um, interestingly enough, out of the five or six retailers I found, let's say four out of the five had Old Pulteney 21, and it had a green label, green box. They all looked the same. The other one that said they had Old Pulteney 21 had a gold label and a gold box, and but they were selling it for around the same price as the other ones and listed it as Old Pulteney 21. And I was like, did did Old Pulteney go through a label change <laughs> over the last, I don't know, you know, five or ten years or whatever that I, I don't know about? Because I know Old Pulteney 21 is not available anymore. Mm. Um, are they're not making anymore? I don't believe they are. So I, I'm just curious. I want to ask everybody out there if you guys can help me understand that a little bit more because I don't. I'm not a big follower of the Pulteney. Okay. Are you serious? It's super sweet. It's like a port wine, man. It's so um, it's Lee, I found it anywhere oh, from about a 165 to about 195. Um, and you got to throw in That's shipping serious. on top of that, That's except so for one That's website. Just, I found uh, had it for sale for five hundred and forty-eight dollars. Now I don't know what they were selling, so you're <laughs> what, you're the but price. they yeah. Okay. Um, but I, I'm just curious to know what what the difference you is. You know, so we t we start talking about this a little bit, and it's like in the whole online, we we have yet to pull the trigger on buying anything online. We just haven't yet, right? So I know a lot of people That's out so there are really now. into it, and it depends on where you're located and everything mm -hmm. else. Um, but the interesting thing is, we've looked at it from in the past. And it's never been a really good value for us because it's about, <clears throat> I mean, the, the prices of the bottles are great, but you start putting in shipping, it's like, whoa, right. that's crazy, bottle, right? Yeah. You get to buy like four or five bottles. bottles. Right, yeah. exactly, Bill. Yeah. Um, but we found some stuff recently. Um, you want to say the names of it? Was it Budget something? Um, budget Bottle. Right. Budget Bottle. And a couple yeah. of places. Twenty dollars shipping. It's like, well, hold on for a second. I mean, so is it, is the industry changing? No. Is, are they realizing that it's getting harder and harder to find things locally? That shipping is getting more. I actually talked. I, I when I was researching these, I was I was trying to skim them down by looking at their shipping prices. If their shipping prices were too high, I don't even want to look at their site. That's what you um, yeah, that's the one I saw at Benny's. Anyway, um, what I so found, cool. there was one website that didn't list their shipping prices. So I called their number and I talked to them. And a young lady in San Francisco answered. And um, basically, she was really forthcoming and said, you know, in the States anywhere, I can't help anybody outside of the States. Number one, it all comes down to state law. And so some states can ship to other states, other states can't. So uh, if you look at the websites, right. some of them will say they can ship to Indiana. Some say you can't ship to Indiana. Right, right. It just comes down to the regulation. I see that with yeah. bourbon too. Yeah. Um, but most, every state sets their own for the most labels. part, all of them are starting to go towards just standard flat ground shipping rates with UPS and FedEx, which is pretty reasonable. It's like $20 for the first bottle. For if you want two bottles, it's like three more dollars. If you want three bottles, it's like four more dollars on top of that. It, Which isn't it's, a bad it's, thing yeah. to think about. It depends on how you get to travel. Because a year ago we bottles. looked and it was well, like it was like thirty dollars yeah. a bottle. Yeah. So if you bought two bottles, you're paying sixty dollars in shipping. Well, screw That's that. Stupid, Even yeah. if it's a good price, by the time you tack on shipping, yeah. it's not a good so, price. So. I don't, it's just something that we got to start looking into. And I know some of you guys out there have already really gotten into the online retailers, and, and uh, we haven't pulled well, the trigger it's yet. It's hard, too, for us because, I mean, let's be honest, oh, we've, we're not as, as, as big as some of the other guys out there reviewing. We've done a, you know, over 100 plus reviews. It's getting harder and harder to find stuff we haven't reviewed locally. Yeah, we're running. Right, this. right. Yeah. That's so the truth. We're down to like White Label and yep. Johnny Red. Yeah, well, I think we need. To, yeah, so we're, we're doing a trash video coming up pretty soon of all the low shelf, <coughs> low shelf bargains. We haven't done any of those yet. We need to. That's I've got a Mike little, and I are going. Tom's high going high. big. Tom's got a Ball Blair '83 for Christmas. Nice. <laughs> Damn. We need to I've go got visit a him for trivia good. for you. All right, right, lay it on me. Superman movies. Superman. Where? Are you, why, what? How many of those? You're like my 12 year old. All of a sudden, so give me some context. <laughs> The one where Superman kind of is given up 
I can't remember which it. Superman which, two. two. Was it two? Or he's two. fighting General Zod, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Zod's whipping his, yeah. and he, he, he goes, goes to that bar. He goes to a bar and starts drinking. But he can't get drunk. What's he drinking? I don't know. It's when, is it or when he it, lost it, it, he his, lost his powers. he lost his powers. I have no idea. Clark Kent, I mean, the, the old original, what's his name? Um, but he's sitting there, I believe, in his Superman outfit. Is Stan Lee sitting next to him? No. Because <laughs> I feel like he should. He should. <laughs> what's Bill, he drinking? I know what's DC, he drinking, Bill? So I'm That's you tough, know. man. You know? Is it yes. scotch or is it bourbon? It is scotch. Ain't that a bitch? I would have guessed bourbon. Um, well, Metropolis is a, is a highbrow city, so it would be between scotch. Yeah, I know, but Superman and America. I'm bur- bourbon. Because bourbon has a better look on film. Nope, it's scotch. <laughs> <laughs> it has, has a better look it at does. film. It's, it's brown. It's more brown. Yeah. I'm not trivia. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <it's dark. laughs> Do you just want the answer? Lay it on me. Lay it on us. Because that's beyond. Johnny Walker Red. Red? No really? way. You know, if he, I was going to guess, I should guess that. Guess. I was going to say you know, Johnny Walker. Walk in that. airplanes, it's like it's always I, on the air. I'm kind of disappointed that Mark yeah. didn't get that. I was going to say Johnny Walker just because that's the easiest guess to make for, for Scotch when it for comes to For a movie. Yeah. Right, yeah. but I wouldn't have said red. I would have said black. Like, Johnny Jeez. Walker Red. It's so like, Travis, no, we haven't got it yet. We were just we were just talking literally about five minutes ago about the LP twenty one, and we haven't got it yet. But we are on a mission to buy. We it. We found the every, website we're, we're going to order gonna it buy from it now before it goes away. So. No, yeah, we've got the one we're going to get it from. Yep. All right. All right, guys, we got four or five minutes left. Uh, I just want to do a <coughs> wheelhouse again to Bill for joining us tonight. Absolutely, Bill, he, awesome. he actually tested this with me. I, I'm going to tell you right now. I have to toot my own horn, but getting this to work with chat and hangouts was pain in the ass, and Bill suffered through some testing. Yeah, he was, he was a good sport. He was a good sport, and it was an even better sport tonight going through it, knowing that these were Scotch-related questions. I, Whatever. I appreciate it, Bill. Thanks to you, buddy. Scott corrected Cheers. you. He was in so, plain clothes. So make sure you get us your oh, address, he? and maybe okay. there's a Christmas bottle in That's there That's right. Send us your address, buddy. There was he in plain clothes? That's really? what Scott says. I don't know. If, if you want to challenge him, he no, sounds No, no, I don't want to challenge him. I don't Thank want to challenge him. Yeah, so any last words, any last plugs, uh, Bill? Go on and throw them what, out there. You got, what, what's coming out in the next, yeah, two to three weeks for Whiskey for Dick? You. you got anything special coming up, well, or what are you thinking? Coming up for the Whiskey Dick. Well, I got a family well, show. review coming up tomorrow, 3 p.m. Um, 3 p.m.? I, uh, I actually, it was, it was something I had asked my viewers to kind of vote on. Uh, where where do you live? A, Maryland. Good value yeah. for a the price as far as Scotch goes. It was voted several times. So, is there monkey um, other than that, I'll probably have a couple uh, in December. I have no idea what they will be yet, but I, I do have, what is it, Paul John Brilliance, which is an Indian whiskey, which I'll probably do over the next couple of weeks. Because mm. it's kind of sitting in my uh, whiskey closet over there, and I, I really want to drink it. So, <laughs> <laughs> I thought that works. <laughs> oh, yes. Shit. Um, other than that, I have no idea what's coming, but, you know, if you, uh, have enjoyed watching me, uh, get my ass kicked here, then go check out my channel. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're a good sport, man. I tell you what, Monkey Shoulder should really help you. That, that, that is, that is a very popular scotch. Always really scotch. fun to your show, so I appreciate you guys coming up. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. We love it, man. Appreciate you very much, Bill. It was, it was fun. Everybody, if you're not subscribed to Bill and Whiskey Dick, go over and do it now. And head over to, about the whiskey te- uh, uh, Telex. The yeah, whiskey tech. Say, head over to Telex, the tech guy, and watch his after party. Yeah, I don't know. Hey, before we head Let's off, Scott, um, Mike's calling you on the uh, the Superman thing. He just pulled up the video on his phone, and he is in the Superman outfit drinking. No, put the video. Put, put the it show, up there. The put camera. it up there. Show it to Scott. I don't know. Dang. <laughs> That's pretty much uh, good evidence there. Once you, you see, see the it. video, it kind of gives it away. Are see, Scott, Scott's, uh, man, he's adamant about this. Wait, wait, who is that? That's not the original Superman. It, it doesn't look like that's, the real Superman. That's not the right one. I think, I think that's a fake. I, I, Scott, I, you're going to have to do some detective that's, work. What's his, that's name? Yeah. what's his name? Brooke, his, his legs are... I don't oh, know. Don't oh, mess with the LT. That's not Christopher Reeves. That's not Christopher Reeves. I think you've got some wrong Superman. Uh-oh, uh-oh. This oh, is, I you got, you got photoshopped. I, Man, we got head. 30 seconds to figure this out, folks. No, <laughs> anyway, 
Um, <laughs> everybody, appreciate you guys logging in. I had fun tonight. It was great. To, yeah, it was good to see everybody. Um, yep. Hey, if you're interested, Telex has an after show that he goes. Uh, right Telex, now? throw that link out there in the chat real quick one more time before everybody logs off. Hey, Alan, I didn't even know Alan Ward was on. Um, <laughs> oh, there's no proof like that. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you guys, Slancha, happy St. Andrew's Day. See everybody. Cheers Thanks for everybody. logging in and subscribing and checking us out. And, uh, Cheers to you guys. Cheers, take everyone. care, guys. Take care. Cheers, everybody. Mm.